maintain, and repair bridge navigation equipment, and ships communication systems. Banwas Navigating a giant vessel is not at all an easy job, and when it comes to situations of emergency, wherein the navigational officer has to make some quick decisions, the safety of the entire ship and its crew depends on that officer. What is Banwas? Bridge navigational watch and alarm system. Banwas and alarm system which notifies other navigational officers or master of the ship if the officer on watch does not respond or he or she is incapable of performing the watch duties efficiently which can lead to maritime accidents. The system monitors the awareness of the officer of the watch and automatically alerts the master or another qualified OOW if for any reason the he becomes incapable of performing the his duties. This is achieved through a mix of alarms and indications which alert backup hours as well as the master. Why ships need banwas? There have been many incidents in the past wherein ships have collided or grounded due to wrong decision or inefficiency in taking a decision at the correct time. If during an emergency situation, a navigational officer is not capable of handling that situation, it can lead to devastating scenarios. To avoid this banwas is installed on the bridge, which acts similar to a dead man alarm in the engine room. A series of alert and alarm is first sounded by banwas in the navigation bridge to alert officer on watch. If there is no response to the series of alarms, then banwas will alert other deck officers, which may include master of the ship, so that someone can come out on the bridge and handle the situation and tackle the problem. Regulations for banwas. So last chapter 5. Regulation 19 states. 1. Cargo ships of 150 gross tonnage and upwards and D. Passenger ships irrespective of size constructed on or after 1. July 2011. 2. Passenger ships irrespective of size constructed before 1. July 2011 not later than the first survey after 1. July 2012. 3. Cargo ships of 3,000 gross tonnage and upwards constructed before 1. July 2011, not later than the first survey after 1. July 2012. 4. Cargo ships of 500 gross tonnage and upwards but less than 3,000 gross tonnage constructed before 1. July 2011, not later than the first safety survey after 1. July 2013. 5. Cargo ships of 150 gross tonnage and upwards but less than 500 gross tonnage constructed before 1. July 2011, not later than the first survey after 1. July 2014. 6. A banwas installed prior to 1. July 2011 may subsequently be exempted from full compliance with the standards adopted by the organization at the discretion of the administration.